549, and now it's time for Talking with Joe. Joe Rose live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, this is interesting to me. The NFL fined the Dolphins $30,000 and head coach Adam Gase $15,000 right. for how they reported Ryan Tannehill's shoulder injury. I'm, I'm a little confused by this, so sort of break it down. What did the Dolphins do wrong? Do you think this is a fair fine? What's going on here? All right, on a Thursday of the week of the Chicago Bears game, he was questionable but participated in practice, meaning as you're getting ready for that game, everybody in the league, including Las Vegas and their point spread, said, oh, okay, Ryan Tannehill's going to play in this game, the starting quarterback, and you know how important a quarterback position is. Then all of a sudden we find out early Sunday morning, Ryan Tannehill tried to throw early in the morning at training camp, and and we decided to keep him out. He won't play. So it went from doubtful to out. And uh, that's a big no-no for a lot of different reasons, manipulating the other team. Uh, there are a lot of things that go be behind it. And I, and I always go back to Las Vegas and point spreads. I think that comes into play as well. Because now all of a sudden you show up for the Chicago game and, hey, Brock Osweiler, you're the starter. Go get the Chicago Bears. You know how it turned out. Brock Osweiler had the, the nice day. They beat the Bears. But uh, the Dolphins paid financially for that one. And uh, Adam Gase, in the end of the day, along with the Miami Dolphins, had to pay a little fine. All right, Joe. So we're going to stay talking about Ryan Tannehill here and his injury. He said yesterday that mm. every time he throws a football, it hurts. Absolutely the last thing you oh. want to hear from your quarterback. So between this latest injury, the salary cap hit yeah. next year, do you think Ryan Tannehill has played his last game as a Dolphin? What do you think, Joe? Uh, I think he could still play this year, uh, but he's missed 26 games and counting. Uh, I got to move on next year. I, I can tell you that. I, I got to move on, and I got to get that position. We got to get that position going. I mean, all this talk, he's missed now five games. It could be more. He says he's still throwing in pain. He's hoping to be back after the bye week. Just can't count on him. Knee, shoulder. Uh, he's missed a lot of games the last three years. He's 30 years old. Uh, haven't, just hasn't been productive enough at that position. I know how the organization feels about him. They love everything about him. But, man, this is bottom line. This is being productive, playing, winning games, putting up numbers, and we just haven't seen it. I, I got to move on, even if he ends up playing the last month of the season. Joe, were you surprised to hear that admission? We don't have a lot of time. But I was surprised to hear him being so honest about it. No, I, he let everybody know I'm in pain, man. I try to throw. I, I don't have my velocity. You hear all those things. And, I, I mean, I got up like everybody this morning going, geez, that's not good. And we got the team going, ah, he should be back in a week and a half. And I, I'm like, oh, I, I don't know about that, man. What do you think? It's a headache and it's just going to go away in a couple of days. Mm. This is a shoulder, and uh, it, it's not good. So uh, I'm not going to say he's going to be back for the Colts in two weeks. I, I'm not buying that. All right, Joe. We will certainly be watching and waiting to see what happens with number 17, Joe. And we will be watching and waiting to talk to you in the next hour. We're going to talk some heat victory, Lord, which we like to hear. I, <laughs> I would talk to you all day if Aww. you wanted to do that. Just keep coming back to me. And we'll keep talking. All right, Joe. Thank thanks you. so much.